gear, the ones that put up $50 to ask, okay, does the Republican establishment think they lost because of Trumpism or because of COVID? I worry the country likes Trumpism and would vote for it again. It's just that any administration in power during COVID was going to lose. Well, I don't think every administration in power over COVID was going to lose. I, I think there was plenty of ways administration in power over during COVID could have come out of heroes. They could have turned this into a huge success story. They, 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 they could have you know, they could have stood out in the world as being successful in dealing with COVID. I think Trump, because he was Trump, partially because he's Trump, uh, failed at COVID. Uh, you know, he failed in dramatic fashion. He failed both operationally, managerially, and in, a, in his communication. Even, even when some of the things he was saying about COVID were true, he, he communicated it badly. But the broader question is, um, the broader question is, is the country a Trumpist country in terms of everything else that Trump stands for? And I think to a large extent, the answer is yes. Um, I think that the country supports tariffs. I think that the country wants more central planning, not less, while at the same time pretending that they're pro-capitalism. I think, I think most of the country is on that issue right of center. I think the country is fed up with politicians and fed up with elites and fed up with the intellectuals. They feel betrayed by the intellectuals. They feel betrayed by the elites. So the country's fed up with what, you know, what Trump called the swamp. Um, I, think on, I, th I think the country's basically anti-capitalist, um, but wants to think of themselves as pro-capitalist. That's the left of center. They're not really left of center. That's the, the centrist, right? Um, I think they are troubled. A, a big chunk of the country is troubled by, uh, hates the left and hates the, the particularly the far left and um, is willing to vote pretty much for anybody if they think the far left is going to take control. So yes, I very much think that Trumpism is alive and well. Um, the country is also, I think, tired of ideology. So think of the ideologies that they are exposed to. They're exposed to socialism, which they despise, and they're exposed to conservatism, which is an empty suit, and they know it, and it's always failed, and it's always brought nothing. So they liked, I think people liked Trump's pragmatism, pranks, Trump's non-committal to principles. I, I think what they didn't like is Trump. Uh, and this is what I said throughout, the, throughout this time, that the real danger is a future much more charismatic, um, idealistic, but who frames it outside of the context of the ideals that Americans have rejected, conservatism, uh, 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 socialism. Not that conservatism is really an ideal, but it's presented as such. Uh, that's the real danger, that, that the collectivist stuff the status stuff, Americans like that. Americans want that. I mean, what was unpopular that Trump did in terms of actual policies? Very little in terms of actual stuff that was unpopular. Um, I mean, yeah, I think what was mostly unpopular was Trump, was his character and, 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 and the way he the way he held himself and the way he spoke and the in, in, in his attitude. So yes, I'm very worried about um, uh, the continuation of Trump's more statist and more collectivist policies. I think uh, they ha have a home on the right, and they will it will only become a bigger and stronger home. Unfortunately, I don't see any movement out there for more free markets uh, among Republicans. It's just, I don't think that even exists, right? Um, let's see. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life 
and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brute. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share, and uh, you can support the show at yourunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if you... Even if you just come here to troll, or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe, because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified. Right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please.